Here we are on the outside wet bay area of your new Class A motorhome. As you can see, we've got easy access to our black and our gray tanks and also to all of our valves because we need to get hooked up and get ready for the night as we stay here at the campground. So a couple things we need to do. First of all, we need to make sure that we have a three inch sewer hose, which obviously we're gonna hook up to the tanks here. Also, we need to make sure that we have a fresh water hose. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get one that's actually made for uh, drinking water, not one that's just a garden hose. First, we're gonna to wanna to remove the porthole at the bottom of the wet bay area here. All you've gotta do is just twist it to take it off. Second, we're gonna look at our valve here, and as you see this connector, it twists. So you can actually move it down into a position that makes it easier to connect your hose. Make sure that your holding tanks are closed so nothing sp spills out before you're actually ready to connect. Take the cover off of the outside, move it to the side, and now you can take your three inch sewer hose, feed it up from underneath the motorhome, and connect it in place. Once we're connected in place and positioned correctly, now we get ready to dump the tanks. First thing we wanna do, we wanna pull the black handle, which is for the black tank. Now the black tank is where all your toilet water goes. The gray handle connects to the gray tank and that's where all your water from your kitchen sink and your shower and your bath vanity go. Let's start by pulling the black handle, pull it all the way out. Now everything coming from the black tank is out and flowing actually down to your sewer tank. Second, let's take and pull the gray tank. The reason we do it in that order is so all the solids and toilet paper and everything else that's in your black tank rush out first, then the gray tank comes behind and cleans everything out and makes it all spick and span. When we get ready to pack up and we're ready to leave now, we do in the exact opposite order. First thing we wanna do is close the black tank and then we want to close the gray tank. Please remember when you're at the campground, you don't wanna leave your valves open. You only wanna open the valves when you're actually ready to dump the tank. So let it build up in that black tank and then come out and pull the handles and clean everything out in the sewer area. When we're finished, we can make sure that each one of the valves are closed. We can take, in a counterclockwise motion, screw our sewer tank hose off, pull it out, make sure we clean that all out. And then we can put our cover right back on so that way we make sure that nothing accidentally leaks out on the ground. From there, we can take, we can put our porthole back in screw it in place, rotate our valve back up and out of the way, and we're ready to get going. Now let's go look and see what it takes to actually clean out your black tank. Your black tank has a flush on it. So once you're all finished, a black water tank flush will allow you to make sure that anything that might be left over in your tank gets cleaned out. That's what this small Santa flush area right here is. It's a connector for a garden hose. Make sure that you put a regular garden hose on there not one that has your drinking water or not one that you're using for your drinking water. That could possibly contaminate the, uh, the drinking hose with raw sewage. So let's stay away from that. 